alone. <laughs> Dalinar held a fist to his chest. So alone. <laughs> it hurt to breathe, to think. But something stirred inside his fist. He opened bleeding fingers. <laughs> the most... the most important... <laughs> Inside his fist, he somehow found a golden sphere, a solitary glory spring. The most important step a man can take. It's not the first one, is it? It's the next one. Always the next step, Delinar. Trembling, bleeding, agonized, Delinar forced air into his lungs. <laughs> You cannot have my pain! Podium stepped back. Dalinar? What is this? You cannot have my pain! Dalinar! Dalinar forced himself to his feet. You cannot have my pain! Be sensible. I killed those children. No, it was... I burned the people of Rathalus. I was there, influencing you. You cannot have my pain! Dalinar stepped toward Odium. The god frowned. His fused companion shied back, and Amaram raised a hand before his eyes and squinted. Were those glory sprints spinning around Dalinar? I did kill the people of Rathalus. You might have been there, but I made the choice. I decided. I killed her. It hurt so much, but I did it. I accept that you cannot have her. You cannot take her from me again. Dalina. what do you hope to gain keeping this burden? If I pretend, if I pretend I didn't do those things, it means that I can't have grown to become someone else. A failure. Something stirred inside of Dalinar. A warmth that he had known once before. A warm, calming light. Unite them. Journey before destination. It cannot be a journey if it doesn't have a beginning. Suddenly, awareness poured back into him. The Stormfather, distant, feeling frightened, but also surprised. Dalinar? I will take responsibility for what I have done. If I must fall, I will rise each time a better man. <sighs> Renarin ran after Yasna through the locked wards of the city. People clogged the streets, but she didn't use those. She leaped off buildings, dropping onto rooftops of the tiers below. She ran across each of these, then leaped down to the next street. Renarin struggled to follow. Afraid of his weakness, confused by the things he'd seen, he dropped to a rooftop, feeling sudden pain at the fall. He had broken his ankle, but Stormlight healed that. He limped after her until the pain left. Yasna! Yasna! I can't keep up! She stopped at the edge of a rooftop. He reached her, and she took his arm. You can keep up, Renarin. You're a knight radiant. I don't think I'm a radiant, Yasna. I don't know what I am. An entire stream of glory spren flew past them, hundreds in a sweeping formation that curved toward the base of the city. Something was glowing down there, a beacon in the dim light of an overcast city. I know what you are. You're my cousin, family, Renarin. Hold my hand, run with me. He nodded, and she towed him after her, leaping from the rooftop, ignoring the monstrous creature that climbed up nearby. Yasna seemed focused on only one thing. That light. Unite them. Glory spren streamed around Dalinar. Thousands of golden spheres, more spren than he'd ever seen in one place. They swirled around him in a column of golden light. Beyond it, Odium stumbled back. Ah! Ah! So small. Has he always looked that small? <gasps> Syl looked up. Kaladin turned to see what had drawn her attention. She looked past the fused who had landed to attack. She was staring toward the ocean of beads and the trembling lights of souls above it. Syl? She pulled him tight. Maybe you don't have to save anyone, Kaladin. Maybe it's time for someone to save you. Unite them! Dalinar thrust his left hand to the side. 
plunging it between realms, grabbing hold of the very fabric of existence, the world of minds, the realm of thought. He thrust his right hand to the other side, touching something vast, something that wasn't a place, that was all places in one. He'd seen this before in the moment when Odium had let him glimpse the spiritual realm. Today, he held it in his hand. The fuse scrambled away. Amaram pushed down his faceplate, but that wasn't enough. He stumbled back, arm raised. Only one person remained in place. A young Parsh woman, the one that Dalinar had visited in the visions. What are you? Dalinar closed his eyes, listening to a sudden stillness, and within it, a simple, quiet voice. A woman's voice, so familiar to him. I forgive you. Dalinar opened his eyes and knew what the Parsh woman saw in him. Swirling clouds, glowing light. I am unity. He slammed both hands together and combined three realms into one. Shadesmar exploded with light. A wind blasted the fuse away, though Kaladin felt nothing. He shaded his eyes with his hand. The light faded, leaving a brilliant glowing pillar in the middle of the sea. Beneath it, the beads locked together, turning into a highway of glass. Kaladin blinked, taking Shallan's hand as she helped him to his feet. <clears throat> Adolin forced himself to sit up, holding his bloodied stomach. What is it? Honor's perpendicularity. A well of power that pierces all three realms. A pathway home. <laughs> 